Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T. What up, Jonas? Oh, you know, dude, just chilling. Uh, you know, hanging out, doing a lot of stuff, no, like no. hanging out. Like staying in the house and just, staying safe and clean. Yeah, dude, all those things. Wash, Every, wash, everything everybody loves. Washing your hands every 20 minutes. Yep, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> Using more soap I've ever used in my life. Changing your underwear once a week. Yeah, weekly. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's the only place you got to keep unclean right now. Making plaster Paris molds of your phallus. No. To sell on eBay. I haven't done that yet. You haven't done no, that dude, yet. That's, you're that's lagging new, behind. That's the new uh, going to the store. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Uh, please make sure to uh, check us out and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. Or uh, on uh, Spotify or iTunes, if you just want to hear the audio version of our podcast that you're listening to right now. Did I just make a dick joke? Yeah, dude, immediately. Yeah, yeah dude, dude. I told you, you're the D guy. You're always, always the D guy. Wait, we could we could swear on this right now. Yeah, we can say fuck if we want, dude. Why did you say D instead of dick? Okay, I don't know. Maybe you can I... call me the dick guy if you yeah, want to. I'm not going to be offended. You, you just announced, you anointed yourself. I did not anoint myself. Yeah, dude. Um, So, I know you don't have any stories today, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burden the load, carry a rock on my shoulder. Uh, I appreciate it. It's all right, man. It's like uh, 2017 up in here. I know, man. Just like old times. <laughs> yeah, old we'll times. See, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's okay. I don't, I'm don't. i garbage. <laughs> We're all about truth, not facts here, so garbage. we'll see. So, uh, I'll start with a quick hit, because um, I don't like to talk a lot about many situation stories, Yeah. but this one I thought was interesting. Uh, there's a little town called Crawley, Louisiana. And uh, they implemented a curfew for the residents that between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. they had to stay inside to prevent the spread of the situation. It's a situation story. Yeah, right. Oh, you can't really avoid it. It's a a quick hit. All right. So the first night of the uh, curfew situation, they they put a they they played a siren in the town. Oh, I heard about this. And lo and behold, they didn't know, so to speak, it was the siren from the fucking purge. <laughs> right. So, needless to say, it freaked out some people because yeah. that movie is popular. It's a cult yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the, <laughs> the police, like, they tried to play it off like they didn't know. And, they knew. And, like, it, they got so many complaints that, like, the, uh, the sheriff actually put, like, a social media post out saying, we had nothing to do with this. Contact this police chief at this office. They fucking knew, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. They absolutely knew. Dude, when it comes to sirens that I can't stand, that per or the ones that like just give me that unease, the yeah. purge one is up there. Yeah, and maybe like old ambulance, it's like, like the wee, 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 wee. Wee. Oh. oh, what do they sound like now? <laughs> Woo, 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 woo. Oh, I don't know. yeah, dude. Old cop cars used to make. Oh, yeah, they, those old sirens were uh, were yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, so I don't know. I thought that, I was like, oh, that would be. Imagine like starts getting dark in Austin. All of a sudden, <laughs> you hear the purge siren, and it's getting to that point, man. It's, what do you mean? It's getting there. Where they're gonna start doing the purge? Yo, desperate times call for desperate measures, wow. and there's a lot of desperate people right now. I'm they're just saying, just purge, I guess. Okay. I'm just saying, is that it could happen? I don't think so. <laughs> there's still is cops, dude. There's still a police force out there. They can't. They can't stop everybody. <laughs> if, <laughs> if we all just okay. decide to purge I guess each if other, everyone decides to commit crime all at the same time in unison. Some people will get away with things. Honestly, with the situation, I was kind of. <laughs> Did you see the lady on the news? I'm covered in Jesus' blood. <laughs> I did not. No. Why don't you, what, yeah. I mean, I guess you got a story. Let's go. It's not really a story. It was just like uh, they were like interviewing people as they were coming out of like church. I don't know if it was. It wasn't Easter because it happened prior to that. But it was right. like a bunch of people and they had like kids and like just everybody just congregating like nothing's happening. Right. Right. And they pull over this this lady and uh, they're like, uh, you, you do realize that there's kids and it could be dangerous and you could catch it. She was like, no, I can't get the situation. I'm covered in Jesus' blood. Well, and, she, oh. and he was like, well, what about like this girl? She's like, I'm at the grocery store and everything. I'm covered in Jesus' blood. There's nothing that can hurt me. It was just a little surreal. 
I don't know if you've ever been covered by Jesus' blood or if you know what that means. Uh, no, I don't. I have no idea. Don't- <laughs> I'm not a... I, I mean, like, is that like the uh, communion dude? Or are you drinking... Is we- that like the communion dude? <laughs> I don't know nothing about that, dude. Why don't you fill me in? Uh, so, like, apparently it is a it is a, a belief in, in religious Christians that uh, they call, like, the blood of God is what protects you. You're born because God's had to... I mean, Jesus had to sacrifice himself, obviously. Okay. So, when he shed his blood... It covers us and it takes our sins away. Doesn't really protect us from diseases. It just so take she got her sins taken away. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people just you know, there's no such thing as a perfect Christian, Jonas. You know, just keep it like that, man. I just like to say there's no such thing as a perfect human. Well, yeah, absolutely. But it just seems like a lot of people have problems with with Christians, especially when you run into one like that, or a religious individual when you run into one like that. But uh. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect one. No, she was a little there's, off. There's um, there's definitely things as a crazy human. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're out there. They exist. <laughs> like I, I went to Catholic school, Jonas, so I've I've gotten smacked with a ruler on my hands by a nun. Really? Yeah. What's that experience like? What do you mean? What is that experience? <laughs> I don't know. It was seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I went, ow. Yeah, it was just expected. You just put your hand out and they slap it with a ruler? Yeah, it just hit you with a ruler. What does that do? It'd behave. Stop acting up. That's what That's what it does? Yeah, I was a class clown, Jonas, you know. Oh, so, but I mean, like, what? why was it a ruler on the fist? Jonas, I don't understand why anybody was able. I went to a school where they had corporal punishment, where they actually had, like, a paddle. And they would paddle you in school. Wow. Of course, your parents had to, like, sign a waiver. Or oh, whatever, you got the paddle waiver. Day <laughs> one. They send that ish home. Beat the shit out of my kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? This yeah, is... right. If you're a kid acts up, we haven't tried to beat the shit out of him. Yes. <laughs> Just check. Yes or no. Or maybe depends. Yeah. Man. Call me first. <laughs> and that's why I'm ready to purge now because I got <laughs> spanked as a you kid. You got beat with a paddle when you were seven in, uh, yeah. in Christian school? Hell yeah, Jonas. Wow. Interesting. Wow, I didn't. I didn't guess it. I mean, I, I'm like, you I know, knew that happened in schools, but I thought that was like after, like before our time. Because we're, I mean, we're not young bucks anymore. Wow. But like, I figured that was still pre us. No, no, that was us. I was uh probably about eleven when that happened. If that gives you any indication as to like, the year, you know, and I, you know, I, I think I do remember my elementary school principal having a paddle in his office, but I think it was like an intimidatory. Yeah. Factor. Like he never like they never like. I never heard a story of a kid getting paddled, yeah. but like, I, like I remember being in his office. Not, I never got in trouble, but for and I remember there being a paddle in there. I think it was more yeah. like the like the authoritative, like yeah. I'm a whoop your ass, boy. It was just for show. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Okay, interesting. So okay, got another question for you. <coughs> well, actually, I have a question for you. Sure. Do you know what the term vaginal aplasia is? That's what I saw in the nurse. I mean, in whoa, in the nurse's office that I went to, Jonas. What? Okay. Isn't that when they take the ray gun and they put it in you and they? Just, just, just. Oh no, 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 no! Not, not what we were talking about the other day on the. Uh, on, I, th- I thought on, that's when they take the ray gun and they put it inside the woman's and they like. I do know what this means. Hold on. Go ahead. Okay, Just tell me what it is. What it is, is it's when you're born without a vagina. Oh, that is not what I thought it meant. It's like you have the internal organs, but like there's no like vagina on the outside. Like, so you can't like oh, penetrate it. So you have a canal, a uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes. But there's no actual like vulva. But there's no vulva. Right. That is. So what is there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but like here, but there's. It, I'm going into this. We're so look it up now. They have successfully in four women lab grown a vagina. Wait, hold what? Wait, okay, go ahead. They they grew a vagina in a lab, hmm. and then surgically implanted it on women. Four, four women surgically implanted. So they have a fully functional vagina. There's four women who suffer from this illness. And there's more than that, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. So, um, and they didn't really go into details in the article about how it worked, but essentially I think they like, I mean, obviously they, they took their, that, them, those women's cells, crafted a vagina in a lab, let it crafted. grow. Crafted. <laughs> yeah. They crafted a vagina. 
You take three sticks and two palm leaves, and you can just craft yourself a... <laughs> you can roll a duct tape, a microfiber towel, you wrap it around a Coca-Cola can. Yep. No, but, um, <laughs> Some petroleum jelly. So what they said, though, was, is all of the women have said, since the, the surgeries were done, they all have normal levels of desire, arousal, lubrication, orgasm, satisfaction, and painless intercourse with this lab-grown vagina. <laughs> and two of the four women, they actually were able to connect the vagina to their uterus. So essentially, they could get pregnant, but they, none of them have reported that they've gotten pregnant yet. <laughs> I saw that story and I was like, Holy shit, that's crazy! All right, I got a, I got a couple I got a couple issues here. Yeah, dude, I feel you. Like let's let's. I figured this would this would get some uh, discussion. First off, Beyond Burger is getting out of control. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, come on, man! I'm serious. We got these plant based pussies out here. Oh, no, if they're plant based, <laughs> well, they're human saying. cell based. So I guess sure. Whatever, well, dude. It's vegan. It's I'm pretty sure if you eat, <laughs> never mind. Wow. You know you're, going down, you're going down you a see, kind of rabbit hole with a joke about, about. <laughs> whatever, dude. You yeah, see where I'm going. All right, that's issue number one. The more serious issue is I wonder if they have to take anti-rejection drugs for the rest of their oh, life. Oh, you know what? It didn't mention that in the article, but like if they're using their own cells and it's like a stem cell sort of like. They're using their own cells to grow these? I think drugs? they said they took like cells of the woman and then used like the uh -oh. DNA to like grow it in a lab because you know they've grown all sorts oh. like ears and like hearts and all sorts of stuff in a lab could um I, could they grow me a bigger dick dude? I, I, I mean I not that i'm having issues I mean, but like, if i could get you, a couple you inches a cart to carry it in i mean come on man I <laughs> <laughs> I no mean, but like i just i thought that was like it was like oddly unique to the point where i was like what else can they do, man? Like you said, like, yeah, like if you're unhappy with your penis, can they just like grow you a new one and like graft that B on? Right? See, now. I guess it'd be graft that D on. <laughs> I don't know, man. I have never heard of such a thing. Growing. A, and when, like, when you say a, vat, a vagina, do you mean just like, just like they, the it outer it, labia? It didn't have pictures. It didn't have like a, a play by play of like what they did. And then, but it must have been something because they grafted it to the uterus. So like they were able to make a canal. So I don't know if it was like a full like like the the front labia and in in actually like an actual tunnel of a vagina from the back. No. Like it would if they connected it to the uterus, it, there would have to be some sort of like tunneling mechanism there. So now I need to know. No disrespect to these women, but right, right, I, right. I feel like I, I kind of need to know: Are they like a Ken doll down there, or I'm sorry, a Barbie doll down there? Is it just like like now there's just a hole? Yeah, and then like I'm assuming that the doctor would scalpel, bow, put it on there like a Mr. Yeah, Potato I don't Head, know, dude. I don't know if they like because I don't understand what they had there before. Like, was it just like all everything else was there, but it just was like it was just a fl just a <laughs> flesh of skin in the front, and it was as easy as like cutting off that front thing and, and implanting. And I mean, obviously, I'm sure it was uncomfortable and it hurt to heal and all that other stuff. I'll be putting that in my Pornhub search tonight, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess you gotta check it out eventually, right? <laughs> Dude, it's free premium. Now, like, for okay. them, now let me for let me ask you this. So say that they, they did offer this like grow a new penis, right? Yeah. Would would you ever risk them damaging your current penis to improve your penis? Okay, so now there's always a degree of issue with that when with any surgery right dude i mean you can go and get like a cyst remove and die like it's like exactly. the, you know you can have the simplest surgery and die from it or you can uh, be maimed forever like yeah dude i'd probably get my dick up out of here not that i have a problem with the old girl she's done she's done a good job she's got a, she's got smiles on her though <laughs> she's like a toyota camry you from know? the 80s you know yeah she doesn't have to get up and go like she used to just being honest she's a the girl She's, you know, she's sleepy sometimes. She's sleepy. <laughs> Got a sleepy, a sleepy boy. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know. I know you are. But, you know, I would definitely, yeah, dude, if I could get a new freaking convertible Lamborghini dick, I'm going to okay. take that. At what, okay, at what risk factor would it be too much? If there was like a 10% chance of it never working properly again, 
25%. At what point would be too much of a chance? <laughs> what? Like, because there's always a chance that something's going to mess up. It may not function as... as the as... point where the doctor's like, hey, look, my dude, we can do this, but I don't think you should. There's a good chance... Well, the doctor's never going to be like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with your D. Get a better D. What like, do you think? I mean, but... It's purely cosmetic surgery. If there's I, a risk in any of that. I feel like... Uh, it is the doctor's job to be honest with the with the patient, no matter what. So if it's a really risky okay. surgery, they're not going to do I, it. I, in I good get conscience. that. Like if you if like you have a heart condition, but like say like your your normal health, everything's fine. But like anyone who does a surgery, there's a six percent chance that your dick oh, will never yeah, work dude, again. Let's go. We're getting in there. Like what? What if it's fifteen percent chance? What do you you see? You're trying to get like a I'm number out of me. Like, I don't what? know what the number is. Like I said, if a doctor feels like he needs to say discretion and you probably shouldn't do this, then I won't do it. But if the doctor's like, I'm confident in my abilities, and that's all I got, I got to okay. go on. I, yeah, I would say like once it gets over about ten percent for me, that'd probably be too much. <laughs> At any at any risk, dude, because like that's a one in ten chance that your dick won't work I, no I have more. A, I have a hard time thinking about my dick's livelihood in percentiles and ratios. Really? Like this, yeah, dude. I don't think about it like that. So you have the surgery ten times, one time it don't work. No, I, that's I, what it means. It, like that's scary, dude. I can't equate a ratio to my dick safety. Okay. I can equate the, the good natured doctor who's like, dude, you should not do this. Like, I'm not going to be like, you know, those girls. Like, think about here, case in point, Michael Jackson. Right. After his second fucking nose surgery, the doctor was like, my dude, you shouldn't get this done. I am capable of doing this, but you should not have it done right. because it could fuck your nose up for the rest of your life. He right, like those it. girls who get like those lip jobs and shit, and they're like, then their lips end up all like lopsided exactly. and like weird. The doctor's and... like, you should not do this. At that point, I'm like, all right, my dude, you're right. I should right. not do yeah. this. Yeah, I hear that like getting stuff like that done is like an addiction, though. It's like, it can be. And you know what really sucks is like, I mean, obviously, it's like the people who have that much plastic surgery, they pretend like people can't notice. But like, when you, when you, like, especially like a celebrity, when you've seen them for years and years and years and you're like, oh, that's what they look like in 2004 and now it's 2020 and you're like, who the F is that? Who Face. the fuck is that? Facelifts have come a long way. R right. But you're Botox. Like, it's just a lot of times they don't look as pretty as they used to. It's like they keep trying to get this ultimate beauty mm -hmm. and they end up looking more messed up than they did when they started. Yeah. And it's like a sad tragedy of like. Have, have you seen Little Kim? No, you, actually, you know what? I think I did see. Like, I'm sure it's probably gotten worse. She don't look anything like she used to look. No, she looks better than she did at her lowest point. But yeah, it's Plastic like they surgery. jacked her all up, and then she started. Then she had more to try to fix. And yeah, like, yes, you know, you're playing catch up. Right. It's like then you feel like, oh god, they messed it up, and I got to keep doing more. And then it's like, how much more does it take? Yeah. So yeah. Look, my dude. As far as I'm concerned, if somebody came to me and told me they could put a hemi in my dick. I'm going to take that. <laughs> take a hemi cock. If they're like, hey, you probably shouldn't get this done. This hemi could, it could blow on you. You'd be left on the side of the road with a flat dick. And then <laughs> just I'm not like, <laughs> you try to start it. Just <laughs> <laughs> it just, it, it's just like a, one of those long skinny balloons you make balloon animals with. <laughs> just ejaculate smoke. Oh. <laughs> it's like a, it like backfires like a car. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, dude. All right. So I have, I have an actual like, it's like it's a bad story, but it's an uplifting story at the same time. Um, and I'll finish with that today. Um, so you remember the, the Las Vegas shooting from where the guy shot down into the um, into the crowd at the country music concert, killed oh, a bunch of people. We're keeping it real light today, Jonas. I know this is real light. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a time of the world. This is this happy story about that. <laughs> this is lighter than I guess the situation. Yeah, exactly. Well, so there was a man. His name was Taylor Winston. He's twenty nine years old. He's a former Marine. Mm -hmm. He was at. At the at the concert when that started happening, he was by the stage. When all when he realized that like things were going wrong, him and his girlfriend uh, ran ran to a fence and uh, and they were kind of like uh, under fire. And he ended up helping a bunch of people who were injured over the fence. Okay. To which then he got over the fence himself and he saw that in a field there was a bunch of like white utility trucks. Mm -hmm. So he was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go steal a truck and take motherfuckers to the hospital." So he went over, he found a truck that had the keys inside, he drove, he got, he got, he directed people to start taking injured people, like, to a hidden area where they couldn't be in danger, 
and he went and he they loaded up the most critically injured, like people who were hit in spots that were like dire. And he ended up making two trips to the hospital, taking 10 to 15 people each to the hospital. And he said, he said in the interview that he didn't know if any, who survived and who didn't, but he ended up taking like, yeah, like probably 25 people to the, to the hospital right up the street. Damn. And he stole a fucking truck to do it. I was like, look at that badass. He's like, I'm gonna go steal a fucking truck and save some lives under pressure. Jonas. Now look, now that's really cool. That's a cool story. Like, especially, you know, that, that whole hero under grace, under fire hero type shit. Right. Right. Yeah. Do you think you you'd be that guy? I do. Like like for real. I honestly do. Like if I was like in a situation like that and I saw an opportunity to like take motherfuckers, I probably would. No, I mean, do you think you'd be that hero guy that starts like taking charge and directing people? I do, yeah. Because okay. if some if somebody else won't do it, I don't have a problem doing that. Might have to be honest, I don't know if I'm that guy. Really? I can yeah. I stay calm in chaotic situations. I don't freak out. Um so I probably I can keep a level head. For the most part. So, like, if someone else was doing it, I'd be fine to, like, help them. But I would have no problem, like, telling people, like, chill the fuck out. Get those people over there where they aren't going to get shot. Yeah. Like, and, and uh, I tend to have qualities that people tend to, like, I don't want to say listen to me. But, like, I'm a friendly person. I have a positive, like, vibe, I guess. Like, people tend to, like, you know, I've, I've whenever I'm in a group, people tend, like, like, a group project, people always end up looking to me to be the leader. Like, even if I don't volunteer, I usually sit back and let someone else volunteer. And they'll be like, I've been I've been nominated to lead like groups at work and in school and crap my whole life. Like I don't know why, but that's what it's something that happens. The same goes for me, but then I always just like you guys do whatever. The fuck you want. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't mind. I don't. I don't mind being in charge though, because like then I can get it done the way I want to get it done. Right. So, so I already know how I would do it, and this is like a hundred percent me. I would be like, all right, shit is going down. We need to start getting some stuff done. And then I'd be like, all right, everybody move here. And then somebody possibly like you would come in and they'd be like, no, we should get stuff going. I'd be like, you are right. You handle <laughs> it's it. Like, I'll it's be like you take it over. But if somebody else st stood up, you'd be like, I'm yeah. cool. I'll, I'll assist you, dude. It's good. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not that I don't want to save lives. I'm just like, yeah. Pff, like, see, I don't whatever. have to be that guy. And that's my thing. Like if someone else was taking charge, as long as they weren't being an idiot, I'd be fine. But I would, but I will do it if no one else will step up. Like, so it's like, I'm kind of yeah. like that step back leader. Like, I don't mind doing it, but yeah, see, I don't really have a, I don't have a thirst for it. Oh, uh, see, I don't have a thirst either, but like, I would much rather step up than let it be chaotic. That is true. Yeah. Like, that is true. If that's the situation, I would absolutely do it yeah. for sure. So. But yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit positive. There's not a lot of positive shit going on in the world right now. So, <laughs> but people getting pussies when they ain't got pussies, <laughs> saving lives, shit, dude. That's some positive shit. They growing them in labs. Yeah, dude. But uh, you know, well, I uh, just wanted to bring something a little positive today. So, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media. If you don't watch YouTube, you should. We have a lot of videos, a lot of uh, bantery bant bant, and. <laughs> Okay. A lot of video game videos, but we talk over it, and we don't always talk about the video games. Um, also, Spotify, iTunes, anywhere you can find podcasts, you can find us. You should uh, subscribe to there. And, uh, but for Jonas, TNT Dynamite, we will catch you on the next podcast. For now, we are out. <laughs>